morning. So I usually wake up and FaceTime my boyfriend for a little since we are quarantined separately and I have barely seen him. And then I go immediately into my five minute journal where I list out the three things I'm grateful for, the three things I want to get done today, and one affirmation. So I've done that, now let's go wash up. This might seem silly, but I also try to make sure that I'm drinking water in the morning because I always wake up dehydrated and before I do my breath work, I just, I don't want to get dry mouth or anything like that. So I have cold water in my hydro flask. Okay, so as you saw, I'm always listening to a podcast while I wash up in the morning. Today, I'm listening to Scrubbing In with Becca Tilly and Tanya Rye, but I usually like to listen to something in the morning that's gonna like set the tone for my day that's a little more inspirational, like an interview with a CEO, whether it's on Skimmed or Naked with Kat Sadler or Boss Babe or Manifestation Babe. Like I usually listen to something like that, but um, it's a Sunday morning and I was listening to that last night and it's funny, so why not? Okay. Now I wash my face. So I use just a good old Cetaphil. I use Gentle Skin Cleanser. I have rosacea, so I try not to play around too much with skincare. I like to keep it very easy and simple on the skin and just use things that I know work. So I'm gonna wash my face with this. your face to dry it. I don't really know why, but I heard it somewhere and I will never forget it. <laughs> so on a work day, I usually work out before I eat breakfast, but it's the weekend and I wake up later and I'm hungry. So with that being said, I put my serums on now because I'm not working out for a few hours, but if I were going right to work out, I would just put on moisturizer because then I'm just gonna wash my face and sweat it off anyway. Um, but yeah, so I use these morning serums, the Drunk Elephant, C Firma Day Serum, which has pumpkin ferment extract, and a, the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum, Pineapple Ceramide, Pro Vitamin B5. I will link this stuff down below. This day serum is vitamin C. Has an orange tint that makes you look glowy. Need to give a plug to this product. I'm not using it because I'm, since I'm quarantined at home with my family, I don't really care if I look bronzed right now, so I'm saving it. But I usually put some of this in my moisturizer every single day. It's a nice, clean, non-toxic product that it has like cocoa extract and things like that that bronzes your skin and it looks really, really nice and natural. So next I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness for redness and sensitive skin, skin relief treatment moisturizer. It's green tinted, so it's good for my redness that I have. I have rosy cheeks from dealing with rosacea throughout my life. It's definitely cured up a lot and learn to just embrace the red but as you can see I get like red when I press on my face and stuff. Since that does not have SPF in it I am going to use some sunscreen SPF 40 Unseen Sunscreen by Super Goop. I freaking love this one. It feels so nice it just like melts into your skin it is not oily at all. I mean it's truly unseen. It's genius. Look you, you don't see it do you? And not only do you not see it it feels like butter. It feels like I'm literally blending butter into my skin. Oh man, I love that. There's no sunscreen like that out there. Then I'm addicted to chapstick, so I'm going to use this Kari Ground Lip Whip. Another clean, non-toxic product. It's a peppermint tinted lip whip. You can see the consistency. It's so good. Now we are ready, so I always like to get dressed before I do my breath work and meditation because I don't want to get too cozy and sleepy. I want to feel like I'm ready for the day and this is how I'm starting my day with my spiritual work. So let's get dressed. Ready. <laughs> I always like to put on workout clothes while in quarantine so that I'm just like feeling active or as active as possible at all times and then I don't have to change when I want to work out. So 
I'm about to do my breath work. Where's my water? So I prepare with two things. I try to drink a bit of water because the breathing, it just helps like when you don't have a dry mouth and you're not dehydrated. It just, I feel like it helps me warm my mouth up a little bit. <laughs> and then the second thing I do to prep is I put on a sweatshirt because it sounds weird, but my body temperature changes during the breath work and I get really cold by the final round, so I always put on a sweatshirt. And this is my total vibe of quarantine. Cozy but anxious. I will link their Instagram down below. They are selling these sweatshirts at $62. Um, just a like a very, very small business, so it's great to support them. It's my sister's friend. Okay, so I'm going to do the Wim Hof method, breath work, and then I do meditation. I'm gonna do a Melissa Wood Health meditation since I'm trying out her workout program for 30 days and I just tried her meditation yesterday and loved it, but I also love Gabby Bernstein's meditations just for reference. Let's get into it. Okay, I lay my pillow flat. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. state of mind now. Breath work is really crazy. Um, it truly teaches you how to breathe. For one example, I am not someone who is a cardio girl. I hate cardio. I get a cramp every time I run. Like I'm just not good at it. I know I have to practice it, but it does not come natural to me or my body. Um, but I've been doing Soul Cycle on a stationary bike that my parents have at home right now. And I noticed that like I didn't get one cramp. I was breathing so well. And I noticed that I was breathing like exactly how I breathe in this breath work. And it brought me back to just a calm state of mind too while I was spinning, which increased my endurance. And it was just crazy like seeing it come to life in a workout. But the reason I do it is it relieves anxiety. It allows me to start my day with some time to focus on myself and my breath and not be on my phone or anything. Anyway, I have an entire video dedicated to this because I tried it for 30 days and documented the entire thing. So if you are more interested in breath work, I will link it up here and down below. So my phone is on do not disturb this entire time. I like to have this morning totally to myself. Now it is a Sunday, so I have more time to dedicate to this. Sometimes I don't get around to the meditation part, but I always get my breath work in. So now I always like to lift my blinds and bring some sunlight in. So now I'm gonna go to my Melissa Wood Health app. Today I'm going to do the 10 minute meditation to help let go. That's the one that's calling me today. Okay, I'll see you after. This meditation is all about letting go. Letting go what doesn't serve you and really breathing in what does. So come into a comfortable seated position. I am very new to meditation. I have always wanted to get into it, but just like anytime I tried, I just couldn't. Um, since this quarantine, I've been able to really just like work on myself. I started breath work, I started meditation, both of these things in quarantine and I've been doing them for over a month now. And it takes 21 days to make a habit, so it's definitely a habit now. I woke up with like anxiety and resentment and just quarantine just makes you a little anxious and pissed off. But after breath work and especially the meditation, I am just like ready to walk out of my room with a smile on my face and be kind to everyone in my house. I just feel at peace refreshed I know what matters in life and I'm just like ready to go before I go downstairs and eat while I'm still on an empty stomach I love doing breath work on an empty stomach as well first thing in the morning I take 
my new seed daily symbiotic probiotic supplements. I'm only like a week or two into using them, so can't sing its praises yet, but no bad side effects so far. Take two of these every morning before I eat. Then we're gonna go downstairs, make some coffee, make some breakfast, and I hope you have a beautiful morning. so good it's so sweet the mashed banana and the egg white makes it fluffy and sweet and the peanut butter makes it sweet it's so good mm. so good all right thank you guys for spending my morning with me i hope you take a thing or two for my new spiritual meditative practice and i will see you next time bye don't forget to subscribe for more self-care bye <laughs>